Welcome to the Game Audio Resource Wise and Unreal Audio Implementation Guide Series. In this guide, we set up for a global 2D basic stereo wind loop with one shot wind gust audio assets to trigger it randomly around the camera or listener position. Please note in later steps of this chapter, we'll implement blueprint nodes to stop and start the wind events when the player character enters and exits the house. First, we set up the required wise and unreal data so we have content to tag into a map. Navigate to the Actor Mixer Hierarchy, Default Work Unit, Environment Work Unit. Right click, then select New Child, Actor Mixer. Name it EMV underscore wind. Select the Actor Mixer. Then in the Properties Editor, General Settings tab, Output Bus, drag the Environment Audio Bus onto the box called Master Audio Bus. Right click the Actor Mixer. Then select New Child, Random Container. Name it EMV underscore wind underscore mild underscore gus. Next, we set up a random container that will randomly trigger one shot wind gust audio assets around the player character 3D position. With the random container selected, in the General Settings tab, add the following changes. Under Play Mode, select Continuous. Then tick the loop box. Tick Transitions. Change the type drop down menu to Trigger 8. Change the duration value to 3. Click on the Randomizer UI button. In the Randomizer window, tick Enabled. Then change the max offset value to 3. Close the Randomizer window. Next, we add positioning to trigger the one shot wind gust audio assets around the listener position. Select the random container. Then in the Properties Editor, Positionings tab, add the following settings. Tick Override Parent. Under Listener Relative Routing 3D Spartalization, in the drop down menu, select Position and Orientation. Under 3D Position, change the drop down menu to Listener with Automation. Tick the Hold Listener Orientation box. Then click on the Automation UI button. In the new window, under Paths, click on the new UI button three times, adding three new position paths we can modify. Rename the path entries in the list to position underscore one, position underscore two, and position underscore three. Select the second item in the list. Then in the speaker room, move the dot marker to the central far right. Select the third item in the list. Then in the speaker room, move the dot marker to the central far left. Under play type, select random. Then tick the pick new path when sound starts tick box. Close the window. Drag in one shot wind gust audio assets into the random container and a looping wind audio asset into the actor mixer. In the file importer window, place the audio assets under the destination path, SFX, New Folder, Environment, then New Folder, then Wind. Move the one shot audio assets into the random container. Select the random container, then in the Advanced Settings tab, add the following. Tick Ignore Parent, then change Limit Sound Instances to 1 and the drop down list to Globally. Change when priority is equal to Discard Newest Instance. Select the looping audio asset. Then in the Properties Editor, General Settings tab, tick the loop box. Then under the Advanced Settings tab, add the following. Tick Ignore Parent. Then change Limit Sound Instances to 1 and the drop down list to Globally. Then change When Priority is equal to Discard Newest Instance. Right click the EMV underscore wind underscore gus random container. Then select new event, then play. Then drag the looping wind audio asset onto the event editor window, creating a new event play action line. Select the new play action line attached to the looping wind audio asset. Then change the fade time value to 0.3. Navigate to the events tab. Right click the environment work unit. Then select New Child, Virtual Folder. Name it EMV underscore Wind. Rename the event 
sfx underscore emv underscore wind underscore mild underscore loop underscore start. Drag the event into the emv underscore wind virtual folder. Copy and paste the sfx underscore emv underscore wind underscore mild underscore loop underscore start to the same location. Rename it to sfx underscore emv underscore wind underscore mild underscore loop underscore stop. Then in the event editor list, select each list entry individually, then change the play action to stop, then stop. In each list action entry, change the scope from game object to global. Change the wise layout sound banks. Generate the environment sound bank. Then save the wise project updates. Next we add the new wise content to Unreal. In the content browser, Content, Audio, WiseFX, SFX underscore Environment folder. Right click, then select New Folder. Name it EMV underscore Wind. Open the new folder. Open the Wise Picker. Then drag the two new SFX underscore EMV underscore Wind underscore Mild loop start and stop events into the new folder. Select both the events. Right click, then select Edit. In the drop down menu, select the SB underscore environment sound bank. Close the window and save the event updates. In the Unreal toolbar, build option, select generate sound banks. Then in the new window, select only the SB underscore environment sound bank and leave all platforms selected. Click the generate UI button. In the pop up window at the bottom right of the screen, choose to import the new sound bank updates. In this step, we'll outline how to place a basic emitter into a map. So you will hear the wind loop in 2D and the one shot wind gusts around the player character listener position. Load up the new test map we have created or the map you're working with. In the content browser, content, audio, wise events, SFX underscore environment, EMV underscore wind folder. Drag the event sfx underscore emv underscore wind underscore loop underscore start into the middle of the map. Then in the details tab, add the following changes. Under AK component occlusion refresh interval, change the value to 0, 0.0. This turns off audio occlusion for this item. Under spatial audio, untick the use spatial audio tick box. Under AK ambient sound, tick the auto post tick box. This enables the event to be loaded when the map loads. In the World Outliner hierarchy, right click the audio underscore SFX folder, then select Create Subfolder. Name the new folder SFX underscore environment. Then place the SFX underscore EMV underscore wind underscore mild underscore loop underscore start entry into the new subfolder. Save the map updates. Now we can test our updates in game. Connect Wise to Unreal. Then change the Wise Layout Profiler. In the Unreal toolbar, click on the Play UI button. Once the map loads, leave the player character stationary and listen to the ambience triggering. You should now hear the wind looping asset playing in 2D. You should also hear the one shot wind gust triggering around the camera position. When you hear a wind gust, if you turn the player to the direction of the wind source, the sound stays in the position of the trigger point direction, so the wind gust feels like it is coming from that direction in 3D space. We have now set up a basic 2D soundscape layer.